In the UK this year, 10,000 men will die from prostate cancer. It kills more men than any other cancer except lung cancer, but the only test for it isn't very reliable. To properly diagnose this killer, thousands of men have to go undergo a painful surgical biopsy, many of them unnecessarily because they haven't got the disease. It's hoped a new genetic test will change all that. Our medical editor, Lawrence McGinty, has the details. When Chris King's brother died from prostate cancer, he decided he ought to find out whether he was at risk. So he had the standard test, called a PSA test. But that isn't reliable, and so for confirmation, he had to have a painful biopsy, taking samples from the prostate gland near the rectum. What they did was, um, by putting something up in a rather uncomfortable place, uh, they took eight, I don't know what they call it, I call it bites, because every one of them was a real bite. Uh, it was quite painful um, uh, at the time and afterwards, uh, and I, the result of that was that seven of the bites that they took were cancerous and one was clear. Chris had radiation treatment and has now recovered, but he welcomes the new test because it could mean thousands of men who don't have the disease won't have to have painful biopsies. 35,000 men are diagnosed with prostate cancer every year. The trouble is, the PSA blood test just isn't reliable enough. Two-thirds of the men who show up as positive and then have to go on to have painful and occasionally dangerous biopsies are in fact free of the disease. That's where the new test comes in. In the lab, a urine sample is probed for a genetic marker produced only by prostate cancer. So the new test, called PCA3, is more accurate in picking out the disease and it also helps doctors to decide how dangerous the cancer is. Where we're really hoping it will be helpful is, is in distinguishing the, the insignificant tumours, sometimes we call those the pussycat tumours, from the really aggressive tumours, the ones that kill 10,000 men every year in Great Britain. From the, we call those the tiger tumours. So we need a test that will tell us who has the bad cancer. At the moment the test is expensive. £200, but as the price comes down, it could become the new gold standard. Lawrence McGinty, ITV News.